Yo, what's up my dubious debris, your boy Moist Mercenary, and recently the Storm Pegasus remake for Beyblade X has been announced, and I am super excited, but I cannot wait for that to drop. We don't even have a release date for it yet, so I'm going to show you how you can turn your standard Metal Fight launcher into a super powerful modded X launcher. Uh, and experience the thrill of a extreme battle using your Metal Fight Bays right now. I did a video on this a while ago, so I will breeze through this a little bit, and uh, you guys can go ahead and check out the old video first and see how, like a more in-depth detailing of how to do this. It's super easy though. You'll basically just need a screwdriver and a knife. That is it, that is all. You will unscrew these two screws, pop off this sort of I describe it as like a Mickey Mouse brace. Take off the original three pronged like launcher hooks and the white piece underneath. And you can go ahead and put on the Winnie the Pooh looking thing right back on there and just have it looking like this. That is a very simplified version of this task. Uh, you can go and see the entire process in the old video. As I said, I've done this before. And you're gonna need to Unscrew the prongs from Metal Fight Launcher. I'm not going to do it to a string launcher. You could use a rip cords of any kind, any type of rip cord launcher. They're far cheaper and more available to use for something like this, especially because it involves carving, oops, carving a bit of the center of this part out. So I've done this already. This is actually the same prongs I used in the old video. I'm just using it now to put on a string launcher, which I wasn't out at the time that I had modded launchers. So yeah, or at least I didn't have one yet. Basically, you just stick a knife in there and then twist and grind until it's opened up. But you still want to make sure there's enough clearance for it to clip on. If it's too loose, it'll just pop off and that's not going to be fun when you're trying to battle your base with this thing. Now, different from last time, I've added this piece. If you look closely under a uh, assembled one, you can see the white bars under there. That is this little eight shaped piece with a little square in the center. Now this square, you're going to want to like carve out the corners a little bit, sand it down. What I did, I took a very thin file like this and I stuck it right between here. Uh, and I just sort of did this motion with it on both sides until it was freely moving and I could just uh, basically pop it right on in here. It'll slap right in there at the base. Make sure it goes all the way down because you need the clearance to then come in here and pop this part right on. There we go. And then there we go. Basically this part, the white part under there is super important because it stops this from clicking back. When you put a bay on here and that is not there, when you launch, it will get pulled down by the weight and not spin with the gears inside. It'll just stay stuck, it'll spin backwards, it'll just, jiggle a little bit it'll get you very weak launches when you put this part under here and you do this mod right you get extremely good powerful strong launches and that is very important for beyblade x considering the amount of speed you're going to want with your bays and you might have noticed i'm using this pegasus on free 230 uh with a bit flat a custom flat made by my good friend juni gatsu go ahead and check that out on his shapeways down below i'll leave a link to that so you could try this out Pretty cheap, just $13, you get the flat, sharp, and ball, and taper bits to use with your Metal Fight Bays as tips. I suggest running them on F230 or maybe uh, a custom free spin track of some kind. I did have some of those, but they didn't work too well, so uh, yeah. F230 is your best bet to emulate the sort of rotating of the ratchet, or the bits that uh, X Bays have. And uh, yeah, this should be able to extreme dash pretty well. I'll do a couple of test battles with that, of course. And as always, I'm gonna be doing just a couple of battles to test out our Storm Pegasus, get a glimpse of what he's gonna be like when we get him in X as a remake. We have Viper Tail and we have Rhino Horn, all in their stock configurations along with Night Shield. Should make for some interesting, fun battles with our Pegasus, some good uh, stamina and defensive options to test out our Storm Pegasus attack potential in Beyblade X. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get into that after my bit of rambling about how to modify your launchers. Hey, Moist from the future, real quick message for y'all. Make sure you guys go down there to 
bayesandbricks.com. Use code MOIST for 7% off your order. They got Metal Fight, they got Burst, they got X, they got everything. I forgot to record this with the intro part, so yeah. Uh, just go down there and get your stuff. You can get your X base and your X string launchers especially and uh, some uh, Beyblade Metal Fight launchers so you can mod them into X launchers and such and uh, get your super strong launchers for yourself. Get all the equipment over at bayesandbricks.com. That is where I get pretty much all of my X bays. And uh, yeah, go check them out. Use code MOIST, save some money, get some bays, have some fun. Now, let's get into the battles. All right, guys, here we are in the Beyblade X Stadium. I'm going to start off with using Night Shield as my bay for the first test of Storm Pegasus's power with this modded X launcher. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Alright, so Storm Pegasus, not quite strong enough to beat Night Shield there, but oh well, Night Shield is a pretty strong X Bay, in my, in, not just in my opinion, just in general. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And let her rip. And we can see Pegasus did manage to win this time around against Night Shield. Pretty impressive considering it's Storm. Uh, Storm, as us Metal Fight fans know, isn't the strongest blade. Three, two, one, go shoot. And, um, oops, go shoot. Uh oh, <laughs> the storm came undone that time around. Uh, that just made me think, you know what, I am going to switch out Storm for something more exciting since uh, it's not the strongest bay out there. I could definitely use something a little bit better, huh? Alright guys, so since Storm Pegasus seemed a bit lackluster in these battles, I decided to bring out Spiral Capricorn. Should be a bit stronger and a bit more even in the weight department to these other X bays. Let's go ahead and try him against Night Shield here. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot. Yeah, being so tall isn't ideal for a bay like this. Three, two, one, let it rip. And let it rip. And a nice destabilization from Spiral Capricorn, though it definitely was faltering at the end as well. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Spiral Capricorn managing to win by outspin again. Hopefully we can get a knockout, but the space seems a bit too high for that. Uh, I would use this on a standard track, but it doesn't let it free spin as much, but like X dash as well as if it was like this. Three, two, one, go shoot. Three, two, one, let rip. I think that's enough between Night Shield and these opponents, so let's go ahead and try something else. Alright, so real quick before we start the battles, I did decide to switch up the track just a little bit. Uh, we have this custom track with no hexagon at the top, so hopefully this allows X dashes to still happen. But uh, let the bay be a bit lower down so that it can make proper contact, maybe get destabilized less often by these battles. Let's see if that stands true. Uh, against Rhino Horn here with still using a uh, Spiral Capricorn. 3 to 1, go shoot. 3 to 1, let her rip. Oh, 
and a bit of a self KO from Capricorn there. Unfortunate. Three, two, one, go. And let her rip. Some pretty powerful hits, but still no knockouts, which is surprising from Spiral Capricorn. Three, two, one, let her rip. I cannot hold it in anymore. I just wanna. I'm not sure what priority to give that match. That was both an X dash and a KO, so pretty interesting outcome. Three, two, one, let her rip. And let her rip. Capricorn moves so fast at the start there, it's so cool. But still, no knockouts, which I want to get at least one in this video. <laughs> oh, and that, that, there it is. That is what I've been waiting for, so cool. Okay, so this track is working out. I'll see if I can get the file for it. This was also something made by Juni, but initially the first one I had broke, so that's why I was like a bit skeptical, but this one seems to be doing just fine. Three, two, one, let her rip. Three, two, one, go shoot. No clue how Capricorn managed to win that. It seemed for sure like he was going to lose, but he still got the win. So let's go ahead and try out the battle with the Viper Tail. All right, guys. So here we go. We got a Viper Tail right here. Let's see how it fares. This should be just a win if we go by the Rock, Paper, Scissors rule set, but Viper Tail is a pretty strong bay. So let's see how it fares against the Metal Fight opponent. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, let her rip. Ooh, and we get a burst out of this fight. Nice from Capricorn. Actually doing some pretty good damage now that we're getting later into these battles. Uh, there we go, sorry. The ratchet wasn't clicking back onto Viper Tail for a second. Three, two, one, let her rip. Three, two, one, let her rip. And a nice burst once again. Very cool. Getting a lot of good battles here. Technically, that is a win for our boy Capricorn here, but I do want to get it just a one more battle in. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Ah! Super impressive. Love seeing these metal fight bays going so ballistic at their opponents. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Let me know some bays I should try this with besides just Screw, Pet Capricorn, and uh, Storm Pegasus. Uh, there's so many others. I could definitely use Flash and Ontario. I could use Fang. I could use Big Bang. I could use Vulcan Arusius again. I did that in the last video like this, testing out modded X launcher. So let me know what you guys want to see uh, more of. And I will be sure to include it next time in some other videos. Anyways, that's going to be it for your Warmost Mercenary. I had so much fun doing this again. And I will definitely be using more Metal Fight Bays uh, against my X stuff in the future for sure. These battles are always so much fun. Battling between gens, being able to cross play and all kinds of things. So yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Peace, y'all.